Tilt the City is an event that we're doing in collaboration with SFU Public Square. Name Tilt City is really about looking at particular parts of the city and kind of turning things on end. What else could this be? What else could exist here? Arts is a really big part of what we do in downtown Vancouver. So it makes absolute sense that we would focus on engagement in arts and culture in delivering Tilt City. So people are going to walk in the door not knowing exactly what it is they're going to be involved in. We'll put them into teams and then they will be actually throwing darts at a map to select a site somewhere in the city. The site is random so you don't have any preconceived notion about it. We are giving them a small kit of parts, so things that they can build and create with, and a small budget. $50! <laughs> you then go to the site with your team and you observe. Bringing a successful solution or activation to a site is listening and understanding what the site wants to tell you in the first place and more importantly the people that are in the site. We're thinking of making a maze of words in hopes of trying to slow people down out of their regular transit commute and into the public space. We've got the steam clock, which is kind of an iconic uh, Vancouver space already and a tourist draw, so we're just trying to figure out if we should be working with that or working against it. Yeah, the mailbox is right there. Now we're brainstorming the different ways we can engage with the space, either both verbally and non-verbally. Like then they'll have to come back to the permanent ideate collaborate with people, come up with some kind of plan. They have to identify an opportunity and then they have a very short period of time where they have to try to make a meaningful impact on that site. We have no idea how people are going to interpret the word activation. With a little bit of imagination and a crunch of time, people can come up with something really imaginative and meaningful. Activation could be a physical installation. It could be an event. It could be a choreographed performance of some sort. We got a, a school of kids coming along and they're, they're loving the path we just made, so I'm glad we found our target audience. So you basically kind of go underneath the felt and then stick your head out and stick your arms out and we hope people will come and snuggle up to their strangers and make new friends. plow through our cube so it now has become a frame instead. Seeing something cheerful and bright, and, you know, something that promotes happiness and something in a neighborhood that generally has kind of a negative connotation is it's a good thing. We're doing a little pop-up project called Face the City. We are doing molded masks on aluminum foil on people's faces and then getting them kind of to take a look at the city. Today, Buffy St. Marie is hitting the streets of Vancouver along with Teju Cole and Candy Chang. They're heading out onto the streets of Vancouver to look at all of the activations that the teams of Tilt City have prepared. What a great inspiration, especially with the post office right here. There's a big difference between shooting off an email and writing something handwritten. All right, the snail mail lives. So this is not about where you're coming from, but where you're going next. Where you're going next, yeah. I hope that we are able to touch members of the public, so if in the end result they get to pass by an activation and be quietly moved or touched or delighted or surprised, that would be an incredible outcome for me. I think what would define a successful Tilt City is if we could get people to believe that something temporary and ephemeral could even have a permanent impact.